developments and the ongoing effort to understand how COVID-19 impacts children with compromised immune systems. Mary O'Connell tonight sharing the struggle of this pandemic for those families and what doctors are hoping to learn from new studies. Navigating the pandemic hasn't been easy for most people, made even more difficult for those who are immune deficient, like Jessica Collier's two-year-old son, Easton. He has what's called XLA. It's an immune deficiency disorder. The pandemic, a period of unknowns, especially when he tested positive for COVID-19. We worried about Easton because his disease that he has, he does not have the ability to produce antibodies on his own. I would say he definitely recovered and bounced back. We're looking at effectively all the patients with immune system problems, all of the kids with an issue with their immune system to see if there's a difference in how they handle the virus. Now doctors at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital in collaboration with USF are trying to get a grasp on COVID-19's impact on kids like Easton. We are studying patients um, who come through our immunology and rheumatology clinics to determine um, their antibody levels to the SARS-CoV-2 virus. We're also looking to see how effective those antibodies are at neutralizing the virus. Dr. Anne Marie Samansky tells me on top of the virus's impact, they'll also look at the vaccine too. I'm looking to see, you know, if they've mounted antibodies to the vaccine and, and also how durable those antibodies are and how strong they are in terms of neutralization. She explains there's not a lot of information on this for kids, instead more data for adults, also noting the difficulty of the pandemic on some families. We're trying to see if we can give any reassurance or at least some more credible guidance that's related to data um, that we can provide families with. Jessica says it's invaluable to have resources and shared how it could help some families and their kids. It doesn't take all of the worry off of you, but it helps you to come up with a game plan of what you can do if your child was to come down with COVID. Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.